Hello everyone, this is Bryce from QT Office and we had a request to make a quick video on how to use Google Voice to do a text message or multiple text messages to their clients or just their friends. So we're going to get this together for you real quick, but the first thing you need to do is you have to sign up for a Google account if you don't already have one. If you do have one, then you can probably just ignore these first few steps because you're good to go. So the first thing, or the first step you'll do is you'll come up here and type in google.com. A lot of you will have this as your home page already, but you'll come up to the right hand corner and click sign in or create account. It'll say sign in if you've signed up there before. So go ahead and click sign up. This will bring you to the registration page. And I'm going to go ahead and start filling this out, but we'll skip ahead in the video because it's pretty self-explanatory. So after you do your initial page and fill out that information, you'll be prompted with this page here that says, Welcome to Google. Google has a whole host of products like Google Calendar, uh, Google Voice, things that are completely free and they're all integrated. So if you don't have a Google account, there's all kinds of stuff you're probably missing out of for completely free. So let's go ahead and click Get Started. And then the next thing we'll do is go to Google Voice, which will be www.google.com slash voice. Type it into your browser up here, or you can type it into your search bar. And I haven't set a number up yet, so I can set up a new number, or I can use your mobile number. For this, I'm going to go ahead and use a new number, because I have a Google account on my personal information already, and this is for demo purposes but you can use your current phone number if you like. It's going to ask me where my zip code is, so you can give me a local number. Something interesting too, right here, is you can actually put in a word or a phrase, so if you put uh, Mary Kay or something like that in there, it would try to help give you a combination of those letters. Um, sale, discount, anything like that. So if someone dialed it in, they, would, they could use the uh, number pad to dial in letters. But, if you're using your own number, then you won't need that. So let me put this back in for my zip code. And it'll give me a bunch of different local numbers here. Again, this is just a demo account, so I'm just gonna pick the top one. And I'm gonna go ahead and enter my pin in. You can read the privacy information if you like. They're all pretty standard, and basically they say if you wanna use our product, you'll click this button. Now we can add a forwarding number here, and the forwarding number, what that does is it's going to ring on your cell phone. Um, if you've used your own number, you don't have to do this, but you can uh, put in a different number or even multiple numbers if you want to ring, say, your home line and your cell phone. After you enter in your forwarding number, it's going to ask you for um, to call you now just to verify it make sure you didn't put a fake number in. When you get the call, you'll need to enter in your verification code that shows on the screen in the last step. It's a two-digit number normally. And after you enter that in, you'll be brought here. It says you've successfully set up Google Voice. It'll give you your number here. If you ever need to go back and check that number out, you can just log into your Google account, go to Google Voice, and then you can look under look on the left hand side here. Calls in the United States are free, but if you want to call overseas, you can do that at a reduced rate. So now that we're in here, let's go ahead and take a look at how we can use Google Voice to do uh, multiple text messages. First thing you'll have to do is either import your contacts, and you can do this if you add an account for, um, like say, a, a different email account. If you did that during setup, if you had a Hotmail or Yahoo, account, then you could import all those contacts there. But I'm going to go ahead and in, or input some contacts real quick, and we'll skip ahead on the video. After you enter in your contacts or you import your contacts in, you'll be able to click on the text icon here and start typing. And they should pop up. If they don't pop up, just give a couple minutes or come up here and click the refresh uh, in your browser because that just means that it's been saved but it hasn't been refreshed. F5 also works on a lot of computers as well to refresh your screen. If you're texting multiple contacts, then make sure you have the comma between, which is automatically inserted. Go ahead 
Google lets you text up to five people at a time and it's absolutely free. So if you have a Word document with some of your scripts, you can just cut and paste them directly into your message box. Notice I only have four characters left. But you don't really need long text messages here to get your message out, you know. Hey girl, are you going to be able to make it to my skincare class tonight? Hey, are you going to be able to bring a friend tonight? Don't forget, there's a free prize for the first person that shows up. These are all great examples that you can use for the cut and paste here. Just save the Word document, you can use those over and over. Uh, very important though, if you are texting multiple people, never put anybody's name in there because it will all show up on everyone's phone. So we would go ahead and hit send at this point, but these are fake numbers that I entered and I don't want to be rude to anybody, so I'm not going to do that right now. When someone replies back, if you have the forward feature set up, they'll actually come right to your phone and you can respond back to them directly from there. It's a very cool tool and even better, it's free. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Look out for more videos from QT Office. And if you'd like to learn more about QT Office um, and what we do, then please go to www.qtoffice.com. What we are is an all-in-one customer management tool, uh, tax sheet preparation, invoicing, just everything you need for your Mary Kay business to make it paperless. And we are $9.95 a month, and we have a 30-day free trial, and we also do a referral credit for every person that tries this out and puts in your referral code, you get a free month. And we have lots of members that have never paid us a dime because they keep sharing it, and we are very thankful for that. So thank you very much, and we look forward to helping you out with our next video.